Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create models in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. There are two ways that you can create models in Microsoft Dynamics 2012. One is using um, AOT, uh, Application Object Tree, uh, and other is you can use Microsoft AX Utility and create models. I'm going to show you both. So I'm going to go in the server where I have installed the AOS. This is uh, the client, and uh, from the client, I can switch to AOT. AOT uh, uh, using control D here's my AOT environment this is also known as the development environment so you're gonna click on tools and go to mo model management and as soon as you click on model management you will see create model up here <coughs> excuse me so uh, there are parameters that you need to provide in order to create model using AOT, uh, model name, uh, model publisher if you would like to, that's optional, but uh, this is mandatory. You have to uh, select a layer. You cannot select the system layer because uh, customization cannot be done to the system layers, but you can use user layer, cus layer, var layer, and all those uh, uh, other layers. But uh, if you click on, if you in this drop down, down menu, there would be 16 uh, layers that's uh, shipped with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. So you can choose uh, the, the specified layer where you can create actually model. Uh, and then you can change the version up here uh, if you wanted to create like same uh, model uh, in a different layer you can choose the version uh, that would be handy at that time you can put a description what this model is all about you can put a display name uh, of that particular model um, and you can um, set a, 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 as current model if you wanted to do that and next time you will come to uh, you, you you work on that particular model it'll show up here so this is one way that you can create a model in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 and I'm going to show you the second way to create Microsoft Dynamics AX uh, uh, model so you click on start uh, you go to administrative tools uh, this is using the command line or Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 management shell you can create uh, right click on that and run as admin I have already opened it so uh, make sure that when you run it as admin it will be C in, in system 32 directory you need to navigate to this directory because axutility.axutil.exe uh, is um, uh, basically in, in, in this directory so in order to unless you have uh, set up your environment and you wanted to use that environment to get to this directory that's fine but uh, uh, if not, then you need to physically really go to this directory and uh, use uh, AX utility. So, uh, using AX util.exe, what we're going to do is first we're going to look at the list of the models. It's going to show us uh, what models do we have. So far, we have uh, in system uh, layer foundation, foundation labels, and in user layer, there is a USR model, and uh, another model uh, is uh, GER. Uh, that is the model that I just created uh, Germany so um, you can create um, a model for uh, let's say that your business is international and you wanted to create model for each each uh, uh, country you can you can do that uh, but uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, to use this utility and create model so uh, the command to create model uh, is axutil.exe create and then what you're gonna uh, create and that is the model so backslash model and then um, up here uh, uh, the model model name uh, last time I created GER we're gonna go Poland PLN let's say whatever you wanted to uh, name you can um, and uh, next is what what layer that you wanted to uh, create that uh, model in so we're gonna provide the the layer space backslash layer and then uh, n uh, you need to name the layer um, you wanted to use in user layer you can use user you wanted to do customer layer you can do cus layer so whatever your layer is where you wanted to create the model you can do that and after you have done this you can press enter and it'll create the model for you 
and you can go back to look at the list and see if that model is created as you can see that uh, this model is created uh, as uh, PLN Poland uh, and is in cuss layer so this is much easier to really create um, model in Microsoft Dynamics AX using um, Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 management shell and also if you are familiar with the AOT you can use AOT um, let's uh, let's go ahead and create uh, using AOT so we're gonna go ahead and create model we're gonna create model uh, name is test model and I'm going to create in user testing the model display name TSTM model and click OK. It's going to go ahead and create model successfully as you can see it's created. So these are a couple of ways that you can create uh, models in Microsoft Dynamics AX. I hope it helps.